Must be Vanika. <laughs> My name is Lincoln Clay, motherfucker. Nigga, Lincoln Clay? These things mean the same thing. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells like right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. Gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them.
here. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to burn us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Stupid son of a bitch.
what I got. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte, you're with the company? Not exactly. Is that gonna be a problem? If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them.
to die, prick! Pops all in smuggling racket. I want to know about it. The drop's coming into the marina. Pissed off motherfucker named Butterbean runs the show over there. Can't trust a rat. First cut's mine. Get behind him! How to get
gonna take off your hands. Better not lose this. On my way. Call me if you need me. That's a big help. Fuck now, and you got that little speed freak junior studied up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil. Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire in the ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. 
Junior's a dirty backstabbing piece All of units. shit. Pursuit is called off. Go get Abandon him. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon... How's it going? I know you don't belong here. Here. Oh, oh, 
If we're gonna hold Tick for a harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Of course, my friend. They'll be there before you know it. Tick for. Just be out directly. See anything you need? Show me no, what you got. Is, is oh. Somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of shit, Holland.
Spikes! He's over there. Of course. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick Fall? Absolutely. I'll take care of this one just like we did the other. You can bet on it. I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people, a new breed of mobster, a prototype 
for criminals to come. He, someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten, erased. But I also understand that Lincoln had a significant impact on the Italian mob in this city. He did what the Bureau wouldn't or couldn't do. He finished them.